Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today, I'm reading for May 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for my Libras. Hello, my Libras. Okay, cards already coming out. Anyway, okay, had to kind of put them in order. Now, anyway, weekend readings, I use two of my, I use my two Radley Valentine decks, my angel tarot cards for the main message and then I try to pull one from my archangel power tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused both decks with Reiki energy but remember this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay? Okay. Now April showers bring May flowers. We are in May. Now this is more for the northern hemisphere but I do feel things blossoming. I do think, feel things moving. And I want to just say thank you. We are getting through this. We are getting through this. And things will start, you know, again, I'm, the, the flowers opening up. Now, um, the full moon is, and I feel like this is going to be a full moon that actually, I feel like you opening your eyes more so. I feel like it's like you being more aware, and my Libras, you're very aware. So, but the, so be be aware that you're going to be really aware. So this is this is this could be a lot of intense energy for you. Full moon will be on the seventh of May. It is in Scorpio. I talk about it in the longer readings, but Scorpio does not like secrets. They're very they're much they're very much the detectives, but they know how to and they do keep secrets. So if you have, you know, just be aware that, you know, you're, you're, it's like your spidey sense, you know, Spider-Man reference, uh, your spidey sense is going to be in overdrive as we get closer to that full moon. Just had to say that. Now, a lot of times that's from, you know, three days before to three days after. I like to release, relinquish, and request that day before, day of, and the day after. I feel that secrets will be revealed more from that three days before until we even get to the full moon, which which would be then in Sagittarius, right? Right. So just be aware. You're going to be very aware. You're going to be aware that how aware you're going to be. Okay. So anyway, I am an intuitive channeler. What that means is I open myself up to my higher power and whatever the message is that needs to come through for whoever's out there that needs to hear it, it does. Now, I have three cards. Two cards fell out. Um, the first two, the ones that fell out, are face up, but they're also reversed, so there's a strong energy there. The third card is the one I picked, and that one's face down, not reversed. So let's see what we have here for my Libras for the weekend. Here we go. The Ace of Water. Now, water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. So as we're coming there... Aces, new starts, new beginnings, number one, new romantic, new emotional, new, you know, something that just grabs your heartstrings and just gets you moving. So be prepared for that. Now, that could be any of those relationships I always talk about. You know, I tend to go more to the job, career, work, but it could be intimate, personal. It could be interpersonal. It could be something to do with family. So somebody could be finding out about a new pregnancy. I don't know who, well, you know. Pregnancy, pregnant, yeah. Somebody could be finding out about a pregnancy, and you know, it's gonna, there's gonna be some real joy there, okay? There's gonna be some real joy. This energy is really hopeful. This is really positive. This is really, you know, what anything can happen type of energy that, you know, positive energy, not that negative stuff, you know, where sometimes your scales can go a little bit towards that. So, but this is you going more towards that positive, and this is kind of wishful energy. This is, all, you know, I'm kind of like, you know, get out there, you know, and, and hope, 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 very positive, new starts, new beginning, new emotional energy. So again, that whoever, uh, you know, pregnancy, but positive. Falling in love or the resurgence of a relationship, spiritual growth, and enhanced intuition, a new home. Okay, next card again reversed. Here is that seven of earth. Now, earth energy is our Taurus. We're in Taurus. It's also our Virgo, also our Capricorn energy, solid, something that you can, something, someone you can touch. It could also be, um, I'm feeling the, that opportunity again. 
It could be something to do with money. It could be, you know, but it's like you've done the work, you've done the work, you've done the work. I'm hearing you've done the work, you've done the work, expect the payoff, expect what's coming back to you. Expect it to be acknowledged, expect. Okay, you've done the work, now it's time for you to expect. Okay, and very seeds well planted, a temporary pause in action, unnecessary worry. Your last card up is that king of water. Water energy again, very fluid, very emotional energy. And the king, this is like, it's okay. It's okay, Libras. You can believe now. You can believe that things are changing. You can believe that this is happening, that pregnancy keeps coming to me. I'm not saying, pregnancies are also part of that new beginning, that new start. So pregnancies could also be a new idea, a new job. It could be that too. It could literally be a new pregnancy, but it's like, it's okay to believe. It's okay to trust. It's okay to keep moving forward. You've done the work. You've done the work. You can expect now. Okay, these are kind of re recurring themes going on in my mind. Now, the king of water is trustworthy, compassionate, respected, and cultured. Open your heart and mind to those around you. Trustworthy and heartfelt advice, charity work. But again, you can believe. You can believe. And that's really, and the, the choice of the believe, you know, I mean, a lot, a lot of times, you know, it, sometimes I'll hear you can trust, but it's not, that's not necessarily what I'm hearing with this, is you can believe it. You can believe it now, my Libras, okay? So that's a little different than what I normally hear when I see that card. You can believe it. You can believe it, my Libras. Okay. Let's go on. Okay, we got a couple of cards. Oh, we got a whole bunch of cards. So we're going to do some real quick stuff here. And we actually have one, two, three, four, five cards. They're all face up. The first, second, and fifth card are reversed strong energy. So let's go on. We're just going to read these out, but this is all about a happy home life. Ten of Ariel is your earth energy, so something that pregnancy, home, new home, moving into a new home, you can believe, you can believe. Ten's transition, so things are moving forward for you. There is so much, for, there is so very much to be grateful for. Financial success in the promise of retirement, a rich and rewarding family life. So when, when, like I said, I try to pull one, but when more than one comes out, it's like you need somebody, the, my higher power is saying, you know, somebody needs to hear these words. Okay, your, this is reversed. Your page of Raphael, again, this is water energy. Gentle, loving, dreamy, open-hearted. A new emotional situation. So again, that, that, you can believe, you know, that pregnancy, you can believe. And I'm not saying that, you know, I'm not saying I just, that keeps coming to me. Messages regarding relationships or social invitation, great intuitive insights. Now, four of Raphael. Again, water energy, seek out other possibilities, look for the magic in life, be aware of your own emotions. So this could be, especially like I said, as the, you know, you could be more aware, you could be more aware, especially as that full moon comes. Now, next two cards are Archangel energy cards, Archangel Raguel, this is justice, this is, you know, scales are being balanced. This could be, it could have something to do with a legal issue, but it could be something it's like you've been wanting something, you've been waiting for something, and now it's here for you. And it's like the universe is, is balancing things out for you, okay? Fight for justice and equality. Rulings made in your favor. Don't give up. And our last card, again, reversed. And again, you can believe, you can believe. Here we go. This is the star. This is Archangel Jophiel. And this is a dream come, tr come, a dream come true. This is, you know, you can believe. Believe in yourself. The end of a difficult situation. So there is a lot in that last in that last piece, you know, but again, you can believe. You can believe. Keeps coming to me. And your awareness is going to be like off the charts, especially as we get to that full moon on the 7th. So be aware of that. Okay. So my Libras, you know what to do with the buttons, especially with the thumbs up. No, nothing else. Thumbs up. As always, my Libras, know that you are loved. Stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye.